multiverse. I, I believe so for many reasons. Um, the first one being we know by observations that our local universe did have a beginning, so that that immediately um, implies that there is something else beyond its edge and, and before that particular beginning, if with the caveat that, that time exists before our universe did. So in, in that case, of course, it's hard to believe in a uh, cosmos with, with an eternal time, with a fundamental time parameter, that the only thing that ever happened for eternity was just one pop, our universe and nothing else. So it, it's quite natural that one would expect many structures to, to exist beyond the structure of our universe. And, and that is an uh, extension of the Copernican principle. We are simply saying, um, not long ago we thought uh, planet Earth is the center of the universe and then the solar system, and now we are saying even our local universe is not the center of the cosmos, we are just one humble member somewhere in, in a vast, beautiful and complex cosmos. So that, that to me makes sense. Uh, the, the other reason why I, um, over a decade ago, um, took this idea of the multiverse seriously is because whenever you, you probe these questions of the origins, why did we start with this universe? That question does not make sense if you don't have an ensemble, a pool of possibilities from which to choose from. If all I... Uh, all I have in my pocket is, I don't know, 10 pounds, then it does not make sense for me to ask what's, what's the probability that if I put my hand in my pocket, uh, I'll pull some other knot that is not 10 pounds. Of course, there is a 100% probability that the only thing that will come out is 10 pounds and nothing else. And, and uh, the, the same with the universe. If you insist that we must have only one universe, then um, I, I do not see how the question, why did we start with this universe, can make sense. And, and that, if you dig deeper, um, that, that really boils down to two very uh, fundamentally different approaches to, to the nature of our universe in theoretical physics. One is the approach of the theory of everything, a single universe, an underlying theory that, of course, ideally you can write on a t-shirt, but uh, an underlying theory that tells you absolutely everything you need to know about this universe. Alternative approach is the multiverse, the possibility that the cosmos is, is more complex. And, and the second, the, the latter, also allows for an indeterministic universe, one uh, that is based on, on probabilities. And, and uh, the first one is, is based on a deterministic universe. So these two very different tastes to physics also determine the kind of one universe uh, versus many universes approach. But whichever way people go, I mean, uh, eventually we'll all be forced, as, as we solve one problem after another after another, we'll all be forced to, to merge into one point of view, and, uh, and, and hopefully that will happen soon.